time to finally do this. Hey friends, hey family, cool and stuff, bienvenidos. It's your girl Melissa Q back with another video and as you can tell from the title, it is time to rank these co-washes. It has been long overdue. I was like, wait a minute, wait, wait, listen, listen, Linda, Linda, listen, listen. Yes, that was me. But in today's video, we are going to rank these. I do have some more co-washes. Co-washes, what is that? Where am I from? I have some more co-washes and we are going to rank those a little bit later but I have one two three four five six that I have tried I do have reviews on some of these and um, most of these let's just jump right into the video okay so let's rank these I do have six um, one six co-washes I've actually finished two so you're gonna see it in an empties video coming soon I have not done an empties video in so so long so it is time okay so the first one is one that I have I finished and sadly this is one of my favorites so the reason why I'm going to give this a low ranking is because you can't get it anymore I can't even find can't find it y'all but this was so good I think I only spent like two dollars and fifty cents from big lots um, I should have like cleared out the whole section but this one is the head and shoulders co-wash for textured hair I've talked about what in the world textured means why are you putting it on a bottle I feel like this is a co-wash yeah it's meant for like curly coily like textured is so ambiguous to me because uh, texture is the thickness of the strand it's the coarseness and you know I, I just don't I feel like that's ambiguous but anyway that's neither here nor there I'm going to say out of the six I am going to say this is number six okay I really did enjoy this but you can't get it anymore it just makes you mad right this is definitely a discontinued product that needs to come back I've talked about that You'll see that in my September favorites, how I categorize my favorites, but this is definitely a product that needs to come back, but unfortunately I have to give it a, the number six slot because you can't get it anymore. You know what I'm saying? So too bad, so sad. This goes to the one that I just finished. It is the LA Long Aid Natural Sulfate Free Manuka Honey and Bergamot Conditioning Cleanse. And um, I, I didn't like it. I did like it a lot. I feel like it did the job. I don't know if I did a specific type of video ranking this, not ranking this, doing the review because I do have the deep conditioner as well. And I feel like that both of these were just okay. Okay. That's the reason why I have to give it the number five because it was just okay. I think that it says for normal process, color treated or heat styled hair. Yes, anybody can use this, but honestly, uh, I think you could do better. Uh, it was inexpensive. I will leave the links down below. I did pick this up from Curl Mart as well as the deep conditioner. I feel like that this was like an on par type of brand um, in terms of the products that I've tried. It's not horrible. It's not the best, but that's why it's getting number five. Let's go to the number six, five, four. This is the Sasha Pure Rehydrating Cleansing Conditioner. This is the Gentle Cleansing and Conditioning Conditioning tea tangling and no foam I feel like that this was good okay I felt like that this was okay for the price I've, I've had better that are less than the price and we're going to talk about that but this was a good a good product it did I want to keep picking it up no but it did do what it said it was going to do okay it is um, did it detangle? It detangled a bit. It didn't have the best slip, but it wasn't the worst. Like, it's not one that runs all the way to the bottom when I do that, okay? It just doesn't. It is a bit thick, so you do have to use a lot of product. And so that is re the reason why I'm giving the Sasha Pure Rehydrating Cleansing Conditioner the number four slot. This is getting hard, okay? Got three more. I would say the Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado Quinoa Co-Wash is going to go number three. Now this was really hard because I do have two more that are like tied really for number one. But I had to get, I, I can't do that. I'm ranking them, right? So I'm giving you the reason. The reason why I picked this for number three was because of the price, okay? It's pricey and there are products that I feel like are better that are pricier. 
I want to say it's pricier. It might be. But this is 16 ounces. I think, I mean, yeah, this is 16 ounces. I want to say this was like around $32, $34. Don't quote me. You can get it from Sephora. You can get it from the Briogeo website. Just found out Riley Rose has this as well. Riley Rose is like the up and coming like Ulta. So it's a good one. But the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind. I love the pump. I love the detangling action. My felt my hair felt really, really clean. I feel like it comes from a clean brand. However, the price is just, whoa. You know what? Uh, this is something that I feel like most people, if you're not into like high-end co-washes or the, that, they're going to splurge on this, okay? People are going to look for a cheaper alternative to this just because I think of it being ex as expensive as it is. If they came down with the price, down with the price a little bit, people would, I think, gra gravitate the, to this a lot more. But hey, we're talking about being in Sephora. But this is the Briogeo Be Kind, Be Gentle, and I have to give it the slot. I have to give it to the number three. So, ooh! Okay, so before I give you the number two slot and the number one, stop this video, put your comment down below of which one you think I'm going to pick as number one. I'm just saying. The number two slot is the Diva Curl No Boo. Y'all, honestly, 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 the one right now, if I ran out, which one would I pick? No lie. No lie. I know y'all thought that I was going to say the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence. I love this, but girl, I'm going to tell you what got me on this one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Linda. 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 Wait, Linda. Linda. Okay, so number two, Diva Curl No Poo. I love the scent. Very moisturizing. Can detangle. It, it has a line, a plethora of different things that it can complement with. And I love it for that reason. But y'all, honestly, silicone free, paraben free. I love that. Um, I love that it's in a bottle. That's the only thing that really I really like more than this. But um, yeah, this is number two. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I do have a review on this. So check it out. But yes, this is rank number two. Let's talk about number one, y'all. This is the one that I could not, I could not keep my take my hands off of it. I couldn't keep my hands off of it. This is the Long and Lux Grow Wash Cleansing Cream Conditioner. And this is so good. It smells amazing. The only cutback, only reason why I'm taken taken back by this one is that it is in a jar. If it came in a pump, I would absolutely say 100 1000 percent this is like my favorite of all time the only reason why um I, I just love this so so much i have a review on this i can't keep my hands off of this and you know what this is like a level up from their coconut co-wash that one's great too this one i want to say is under ten dollars i think i paid 7.99 for this the price point is on point the slippage is on point it is such a beautiful product and oh my goodness your curls are popping afterwards i really like this it cleanses it smells good uh, this is just my number one my number one product okay the boo now let me talk about the reason why i did not include the madam cj walker y'all know that one the one from sephora first of all i forgot to be honest with you guys. And when I forget about a product like that, it, no bueno para me, okay? And uh, lo siento, okay? So I actually really forgot about that. It would have been the number seven slot because even past the discontinued ones, I don't want that one brought back. I'm just being real, just being honest, okay? I felt like that the price point, it cost too much. I felt like the product was, um, the product was thick and it was ambiguous in its description altogether on Sephora. So unfortunately, but fortunately for me, I'm not going to be purchased, repurchasing it again. But the, it's it's a regret. I regret even purchasing that. At least all of these, I they were either okay, it's discontinued, you can't get it anymore. But that one, even though it's available, I wouldn't repurchase it. So that's the reason why I didn't talk about that one because I for, honestly forgot. 
But if you want me to just absolutely tell you guys where that one would be, it would be number seven. I hope you guys enjoy videos like this. Definitely let me know what your favorite co-wash or cleansing conditioner is down in the description box. Have you tried any of these? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to throw it out the window? Do you want to run over it? Do you want to just like keep it in your shower for the rest of your life? Like let me know those deeds y'all the tribe is live we love those type of things down in the description box because it lets us know what to save our coins on definitely let me know what i should rank next i hope you guys enjoy this thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit the notification bell i'm right here y'all i'm gonna be right here when you get back i'll holla at you on the next one bye guys